Coca-Cola has been outspoken against the voting law as well, but, yep, the company requires employees to show valid IDs to get into their annual shareholders meeting. Just thought we'd point that out. All right, moving on and staying on Coca-Cola. Susan, uh, Georgia lawmakers, they're firing back. What are they demanding? Yeah, so we have a, a group of GOP Georgia lawmakers now signing a letter asking Coca-Cola CEO to read the new voting bill and to support the state's decision. They're threatening now to remove all Coke products from their GOP offices after we heard from the CEO criticizing this new voting law by calling it unacceptable. So the letter says that given Coke's choice to cave to to the pressure of an out-of-control cancel culture, we respectfully request all Coca-Cola products be removed from our office suite immediately. Now, Coca-Cola, we should point out, has close ties to Georgia. In fact, probably one of the closest with the iconic cola maker founded and headquartered in Atlanta. But it's not just Coca-Cola, as you mentioned. We have more than 70 companies Pardon me, close to 20 companies. We had 70 of these, uh, these CEOs, former CEOs and business leaders had called on these companies to do something to speak out against this uh, new Georgia voting law. But, it, yeah, Coke has close ties, as we know, in the state.